Do you accept this cocktail? Hi, I'm Michael Pez, and this is Reality Sips. We're here at Nickel Nine Distillery, the proud sponsor of Bachelor in Paradise Canada. And we're here to make a cocktail and talk all things in paradise. So the last episode was two hours and it started off with a kind of a hurricane hitting the beach. And who entered? But Demi. Demi was on previous seasons of The Bachelor and she was on Bachelor in Paradise, the US version. And she started to mix things up. Now she's not a contestant, but she was there to ask some pretty serious and tough questions to the other contestants. But you know what? Let's make a cocktail. This cocktail is gonna be blended and we're gonna call it Hurricane Demi. All right, so it's already iced up. Two ounces of Island Diaz Spice Rum made right here at Nickel Nine Distillery. Then we're gonna do one ounce of lemon juice. Two ounces of guava juice. A little spill. And two ounces of pina colada mix. We're gonna blend that up. We're gonna get our hurricane glass. Whoop. Perfect. And because all the umbrellas were all flying when she came in, a little umbrella for that. There we go. This looks really good. That's freaking delicious. All right, now let's do a recap. So this week, we are gonna do a little recap of Bachelor in Paradise Canada, episode two. It was a two hour episode, so I'm just gonna basically go over the highlights of what happened. So it first started off with our girl, Demi. Demi was on a previous season of The Bachelor with Colton Underwood. She was on a previous Bachelor in Paradise season, and she came here to stir up the pot. Um, at first you thought she was a contestant, she wasn't, but she, as she walked into the beach, umbrellas were flying, it seemed like they were getting a hurricane, but a hurricane in Canada, I don't know about that, it was just windy. She asked the one question, uh, who is uh, being a, giving off toxic vibes? And of course our girl Sam spoke up. Sam is very, uh, very candid and she said that Lisa was being a little, giving off toxic vibes. Now, I love Lisa. I've met Lisa personally in real life. Lisa is a sweetheart. She's a lot of fun. Then Demi asked about if anybody had any previous relationships coming into this. And Joey spoke up and said that he had a, a previous relationship with Maria, who was on last season of Bachelor in Paradise, and Nathisha who is also from my hometown, Stouffville. Hey, that happens in the reality TV world. What we saw in the episode was that Cole was in kind of a love triangle with Sam and Celine. So there's kind of a, like a little love triangle at the very beginning of the episode between Cole, Sam, and Celine. But unfortunately, uh, Cole said that he liked Sam a little bit more, so Celine went goodbye. But Celine was like not ready to go home. With a rose ceremony coming up, she was like, we need to do something here. And Joey went on a little one-on-one -on -one little canoodling thing. And you know what? Joey kind of opened up. There was a little kissage and uh, he kind of hit off with Slid. So that is uh, a thumbs up in my books right now. There's also the little drama that's going on between Lisa, Courtney, Connor, and Maria. And there's also Cole as well. Courtney, saw Lisa making out with Connor. Connor also has the hots for Maria, but Courtney is like all about Lisa. But Lisa in Paradise is like, yo, like let me do my thing. But Courtney's like, I'm giving out the roses, not go talk with other guys or be making out with other guys. But Lisa's like, I'm a person, this is Paradise. We're supposed to be like talking to everybody. The rose ceremony is super important and there's seven guys there's 10 girls, three girls are gonna go home. And unfortunately, our three girls that went home were Rihanna, a Texas girl. Then there was Linda. Who's Linda? And then there's Shaz. Shaz went on the date with uh, Joey. She went in the car on the first episode. But you know what? She just didn't have a connection with anybody. And by the end, the three, these three women ended up going home. So the couples we have left are Garrett and Anisha. We have Sam and Cole. Then we have Austin and Chelsea. 
However, we are going to talk about our two new guys, Godfrey from Big Brother Canada season three, and Edward, who is from a previous season of The Bachelor. And these two guys hit the beach and they both had date cards, uh, which ended up them taking the the Thesha and Lisa on an ASMR date. Uh, which was pretty funny. So basically they uh, got into the mic and were saying things. So they got back for their ASMR date and Garrett was all about like, what happened on this date? And Edward was like, we kind of made out. But Nathisha was like, we didn't make out. Or I'm gonna keep that a secret. And then he got really upset. And uh, he's all about Nathisha, but like Nathisha's like, I'm gonna go like talk to other people. So like Garrett, like, come on, man, like figure it out. Meanwhile, uh, Godfrey kind of likes Lisa, but Lisa and Courtney, Courtney's not like leaving Lisa alone. But then Lisa also made out with Cole, or not Cole, Connor. They also made out with Cole. And then Sam's involved. So basically, here we are in paradise with this clusterfuck of all these people just making out with each other. And uh, they all just kind of need another drink. But you know what? Let's cut to commercial and uh, we'll be right back. Like and subscribe to Nickel Nine Distillery for more reality sips. Pick up a bottle of Island Diaz Spice Rub at nickel9distillery.com and tune in every Monday at eight o'clock on City TV for more Bachelor in Paradise Canada. My name is Michael Pez. This has been Reality Sips. Keep on sipping.